All right, is Khabib's special announcement that he gets to fight GSP? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, tough one. <laughs> um, that's totally up to, to his sponsors. It's, it's, it's a, um, it's, it's be an amazing fight. Um, I think uh, the, the fight will never happen because of uh, age. Uh, oh, George's really? been retired a long time. He's only fought once uh, mm -hmm. uh, in a weight division he normally doesn't fight in in years now. So you know, ring rust is a real issue. Yeah. And um, uh, he also has some physical problems. He never talks about them, but he has um, severe stomach uh, ailments, which make training fight camps yeah. tough. Um, this would have been an amazing fight, I think, five years ago. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is that George has gone into a uh, uh, middle age just as Khabib has gone into his prime. Mm -hmm. If they'd fought years ago, Khabib wasn't in his prime. It's like their ages yeah. weren't matched, you know. So uh, it, it could happen. I know um, George always talks about the idea. You know, he still trains, God bless him. Um, and he always talks about the idea of coming back. But idea of coming back versus reality of coming mm -hmm. back are two different things. So from a strategical point of view, because I know you love it, what do you tell George to do in that fight? That's, that's a great question. Um, a strange thing about someone who's very good at one thing mm -hmm. is that people won't challenge them in that one thing. Yeah. Um, uh, George made a career on taking on people in their strongest point. Mm -hmm. um, when he fought uh, great American wrestlers like uh, Kozciak, Fitch, he made a point of putting them down early mm -hmm. in the match. Uh, and that threw them off because these are guys who People are like, oh my God, you know, uh, Kozjic, stay away from his takedown. Fitch, stay away from his takedown. Um, and then suddenly you had a guy who was just coming out and just right off the bat, bang, put him mm -hmm. down on the back. And that, that threw people right off. Um, you don't really see people trying to take down Khabib. Yeah. And uh, it'd be fascinating to see uh, someone who came out and said, you know, I'm going to put him down. Yeah. Um, now, uh, to his credit, uh, Khabib has gone down several times in his career and he's looked pretty good off his back. Mm -hmm. He's not, he, you know, people think, oh, if someone put Khabib down, it's, it's all over. No, it's not true at all. He's, he's actually very good off his back. Um, remember that uh, even though Khabib, uh, mostly what he uses is, is wrestling based, he was a very accomplished Sambo player too mm -hmm. and a big part of Sambo is his uh, bottom guard position. And uh, he's got a nice triangle from his back. Uh, he gets up well from bottom. So it wouldn't be the case that if he got put down, it's all over. That's, that's certainly not the case. He's well-rounded. Um, but it would be fascinating to see a match where they were both capable of taking each other down. The problem yeah. with every Khabib match is kind of the same story. It's like, yeah. can you stay away from the takedown or not? Um, only one person historically did it. Um, and no. Uh, it was uh, very early in Khabib's career. Um, he fought the... Uh, the oh, Tebow. Yeah, Gleason Tebow. Yeah. And um, uh, he got close a couple of times, but couldn't, couldn't finish yeah. it. And, but then Gleason... And, and, well, Al stopped a few takedowns also. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, but he, he stopped a few, but he didn't yeah. stop it. Not, yeah. mm -hmm. He didn't stop it completely. The only person who completely shut it down was Gleason Tebow. Mm -hmm. um, uh, actually, quite a few people, even Connor stopped some of the takedowns. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, but... It, but none of them came out with the intention of putting Khabib down. Yeah. It was always like, okay, I've got to stay away from him, stay away from him, and see what I can do while I'm staying away from him. A much more interesting fight would be one where the takedowns were going back and forth. Yeah. Then you would see a, a really interesting match. Well, I find it really interesting that, uh, and just when you look at the historical context of most divisions, there are a lot of American wrestlers high up. and. In the the lightweight division, that really hasn't been the case for a while. Yeah, it's strange. You know, strange, Justin yeah. Gaethje would be the first one with really solid credentials. Yeah, and he <laughs> he, he doesn't really wrestle wrestling. at all. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a it's a strange thing. Um, uh, that's a good good observation you've made. You know, this, yeah. the the wrestlers are so um, prevalent in the upper weight divisions mm -hmm. and even below that weight. Yeah, but something about fifty five, and it wasn't strange. always that way. Wasn't always that way. Yeah. You know, you mm -hmm. had Frankie there for a long time. He's a great wrestler. Mm -hmm. um, but just recently, uh, yeah, the the one, uh, as you say, highly credentialed wrestler doesn't use wrestling, and. Um, I'm sure he's got it in his back pocket. I'd be fascinated yeah. to see how it goes with Khabib. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you know this better than anyone. Um, uh, wrestling in mixed martial arts is a very different thing from yes. wrestling and wrestling. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's not clear that Justin has made that adaptation. He's obviously a damn good wrestler. Uh, but is he is he a damn good MMA wrestler? Mm -hmm. uh, possible. We just don't know. We just yeah. We, yeah. we have no idea. I mean, that's that's for sure.